Okay guys, Sex Transponder HD and welcome back to another new video. I'm now at Keisham to do a video here for the very first time. Uh so just come off making a video of your part. So yeah, I thought I'd make a video here for the very first time. In this video you'll see services from Great Western Railway only, but you will see a freight as well. So yeah, we managed to see a freight in the end at Oldfield Park and we will see a freight here. So overall pretty good going um so yeah we'll see what the variety of trains will be i think it'll be more or less the same as oldfield park we'll see a few iet some turbos maybe some 158s in there as well so that'll be the state of play for uh today's video you can actually see a train coming up the line now is this a stopping service to weymouth i think it might be I keep the camera rolling. If it is to Weymouth, that definitely is on time. <laughs> so the length for this video, well, I think it'll be similar in between 10 to 20 minutes long, like Oldfield Park. Although I managed to get that video at Oldfield Park to over 20 minutes long, which was good going. I think it'll be more or less similar here. I'm going to be here for a good hour. And obviously I have to make my way back home. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. And here's the first train to kick off the video, the service to Weymouth, like I said, 166 218. This one's about a minute or so early, I think. Um, so, yeah, but I will keep the camera rolling. Um, Weather wise here at Kingsham today, um, well, as you can see, it's actually drizzling of rain here at the moment. Um, it's quite cold. I'm going to say with the top temperature around about 7, 8 degrees. But if you throw in that uh, wind chill factor, it probably feels a quite a bit colder than that. Maybe only about 5 degrees. So yeah, it is a pretty uh, nippy day, to say the least. Bit of a shock to the system, because in the last few days it's been really mild. But uh, yesterday and today has been rather uh, cold. Uh, again, the reason why I'm able to make videos today is because I'm off work. Um, if I wasn't off work, then I'll see... Uh, wouldn't be able to make these videos of course but uh yeah you know it's always a bonus if i can get time off work during the week i'll uh, come out and um try and make some videos all right so looks like it's about to lead now i keep the camera rolling on time seems that the trains today are working and on time which is good to see um so yeah um so yeah that's the state of play for this video um I'll just give you a little area view of the station here as you can see um got a quite a big car park here at Cajun um so yeah uh, quite a big shelter point on the other side I think there's another, another shelter point down this side just under that bridge there and you've got the crossing bridge going over to the other platform i'm going to stay at this platform also this will be my train to get me back to bristol anyway so i'll stay on this platform for the duration of the video um so yeah uh, there we go so we'll uh come back shortly with uh, some more trains okay guys well, we're back in the video and uh coming in now is a greatest railway service from hmm, where is it going to think from Salisbury to Bristol Temple Meads and I actually remember now I should say at the front of here yeah Bristol Temple Meads 165134 
goes all the way up there, I know. <laughs> Go up here ourselves and realize that the drain goes all the way up there. And I suppose, obviously, it's quite a long platform both sides here at Keisha. It's quite a nice, wide, open station here, I've got to admit. Quite impressed with the station, to be honest. So, uh, yeah. Uh, this one is on time. It's got the platform a bit more longer. Looks like they keep this station in well working order. Looks really impressive. You got this artwork here, look. On this on the wall here, that's very impressive. So uh, yeah. Very impressive indeed. goes so yeah very impressive got all these posters here on the wall as well showing all their little little features here at Keensham don't know if I'm saying that right and we got some kind of um there looks to be some kind of train sort of feature here flower beds looking very impressive no daffodils and that so yeah very impressed with this station I must admit Okay guys, we'll be back short. Okay guys, coming through now will be a gratis railway service from London Pants into Bristol Temple Meads. Now according to the Real Time Trains app, this has got 14 coaches long. Now, I don't believe that. That would never happen in a million years. But according to the Real Time Trains app, it's 14 coaches long. Let's see if it actually is. I don't think it is. It's obviously just going to be 9 coaches. But if it was 14 coaches, that would be quite funny as hell. <laughs> this uh, service is on time. She is coming around the bend now. Well, it's not even bloody um, nine coaches, there's only five. <laughs> if 800 it's only five coaches. Oh god, that's even worse. I thought it would be nine. Well, I could do a real trying to change that if it's uh, 14 coaches, but as you can clearly see, that was only five. So. Uh, there we go, on for the bloopers to say the least. Okay guys, we're back in the video. We got, uh, got a service to Portsmouth Harbour coming through now. There's 768 and 762 zooming through. The reason why it's doing that really is because it's actually running late. Uh, we're in a good 10 minutes late or so. There she is. I'm gonna keep it kind of rolling because we should have another train coming in now. Um, where this is going to now? I think this is meant to go to Gloucester, but uh, I think it might be terminating at Temple Meads now, it looks like. But this is on time though. Maybe they can't get to. Uh, the train crew from uh, Temple Meads to Gloucester. There she is coming in now. This is a turbo 16219. I did kind of cheat and had a look. I like having a little cheat and I'm looking. Not too far from that freight train moving through, I don't think it would be an IET in front of that first. And then the freight train will come through after that. Well, it still says Gloucester on it, maybe it is still going to Gloucester. Don't know. Nice little wave from the driver there, thank you for that. 
I like it when you get waves from drivers because it appreciates knows that they actually love their job when you get waves from drivers. Hopefully they're in a happy mood then. There's nothing worse than a grumpy driver to say the least. I haven't really come across any um, grumpy drivers or indeed I haven't even really come across any grumpy train conductors either so you know it's good to see obviously and um, see may long it continue. Um, okay, so, uh, yeah, do we get the camera off this? Or? What's that person doing? <laughs> get down on the train, that's weird. See him in there? Oops, go on. Now, when I left Exeter this morning, it was raining, and now it's sunny. I've got this carrying around this umbrella, it's kind of annoying. But there we go, here's the British Bow of you. Must admit, I do love a sign of turbo when it needs. <laughs> okay, coming through now, it'll be a slight late running grass and railway service from Bristol Town Meads going to London Parrington. Two, one zero one. Do any honors. There we go. Okay, guys, we're back in the video, and uh, I think we're back to come through any time now. We'll be that freight train uh, from Wetlock Freightliners going to Southampton. Oh, hello. What we got here? We have a cheeky class 70 going through, which I had no <laughs> no idea about there. 7803. Nice, uh, nice, lovely clang and flash there. Wow, another bonus for the video. This is turning out to be a very good video, guys. To say the least. Again, no idea on that one. Like, like that freight train at Oldfield Park I saw, I had no idea on that either. It didn't even see on the real-time trains app, so I'm getting like movements I had no idea about today. We have um, that one there and that uh, freight train uh, just outside the station, Oldfield Park. So yeah. Um, so yeah, we should have that freight train coming through. Like I said, freight wet log freight line is going to Southampton. Train a load of one thousand four hundred and seventy-five tons. Can't beat a class seventy to say the least. But you know. So good. Hopefully it should be on its way, although an IT just went through, so maybe it's uh, just waiting slightly. I would come back now or not. Yeah, we'll come back shortly, guys. Okay, guys, coming through now, we'll be that freight train. Went a lot freight liners to Southampton. Train load of 1,475 tons. Can't get over that class 70 or so. That was a very nice bonus. Clag, clag in a way like a beauty she did as well. Carrying well, I was supposed to say a decent load, not much of a load there, but a very colourful, decent load, I'll say there. Number on that was 66537. Now I'm going to keep carrying even more, as you should have another train going through on this side. Uh, 
um, from Pulsar Harbour going to Cardiff Central. And that one is running a few minutes late. And I think this is a double 158 as well. Is she gonna come? I think she should be coming now. Says so stand back from the platform edge. I come back into the video yeah i'll come back into the video guys i'm gonna make you wait. oh there you go guys as i turn the camera off it's coming around the bend now one five eight seven seven one and one five eight seven sixty um giving it the almighty beans goes okay guys coming in now will be the return of the uh 165 134 we're going to service to westbury from bristol temple meads uh this is on time definitely on time Look at that, perfect. <laughs> Back a bit on the dog. Hope you're enjoying this video so far, guys. Uh, very nice variety. That class certainly I didn't expect. No idea on that one. May have to get back to you on that and try and find out where that's uh, heading to. Um, no idea. Yeah. Like I said, it was like that freight overfield part that suddenly just turned out turned up I just outside the station I had no idea on that freight either didn't even uh, say on the real time drains app so yeah quite good indeed after this goes out um, we'll have I think at least probably two more trains to get on camera one from London Pants into Temple Meads and I'll probably catch a service from Gloucester going to Froome and I'll end the video with that service to Froome as well Quite like turbos, I love the sound of turbos. There she goes. So yeah, like I said, uh, two more trains get on camera. Uh, be two, uh, well, actually the one pass uh, from Bandit Pass and Temple Meads. And then um, the stopping service on that side going to Froome. So uh, yeah, well, uh, I'll come back shortly. Okay guys, coming through now will be a service from London Pant into Bristol Temple Meads. If 802109, do any honours. Running a little bit late, but don't matter because obviously it will uh, terminate at Temple Meads and do a service back to London. Okay, well, there's one more train to get on camera. It will be that stopping service to Froome. Um, and I'll end the video with that. So we'll be uh, back shortly. Okay, guys, we're back in the video here at uh, Keensham. And we've got the very last train of the video. It will be that uh, Great Western Railway service to Froome uh, on time. 
the 166 216 again i did cheat and had a look hope you have enjoyed this video let's say the variety is uh very good indeed um running that uh, freight train and that uh, unexpected light locomotive move as well it's made the ride here very very good indeed but if you on the other hand if you threw the freight train out of the equation and the light locomotive move out of the equation i'll say the ride here will be mediocre as well i'll see just great ocean rally units but uh you know it is what it is even if i ride the freight train you know it's it's a station i haven't recorded that so yeah definitely uh this is a station on my to-do list, uh, so yeah, it's another station I've been to and uh, I could tick off my CV. So yeah, not entirely sure where my next video will be. Um, may make another local video back home this weekend. If I don't, it probably won't be until next weekend. Obviously, I'll spread these uh, videos out I made uh, made today over the next week or so. Too many people on that train. Funny enough, there's actually a few more people at the back than the front of the train, which is quite weird. <laughs> okay, so as she goes out, I will leave it here at Keisham. I hope you enjoyed the video here. Very nice variety, like I said, added to the uh, freight train in the mix, and that unexpected light locomotive move it made the variety much much better so uh, yeah very good video indeed obviously we've seen uh, IET's uh, 158s and turbos as well so yeah very good indeed um, like I said my next video I'm not sure when it would be um, if it's not this weekend it may be next uh, weekend back home so uh, stay tuned for that if you did like what you saw in this video leave a big fat like any feedback would be greatly appreciated so until next time from me here at a now very wet Keisham, <laughs> I shall see you all soon guys. Take care.